Hi, you're with Chandi, Pat Goodley once again. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about dynamic ranges in Excel. Now, this is in quite a while that I'm doing a video on Excel. Mostly I've been speaking about Power BI, Query, and DAX on my channel, but this trick was quite interesting. And so I thought maybe I'll just do a quick video on this. You'll find it very, very interesting. And if you've learned about dynamic ranges through offset, this is not what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about something really, really interesting. Take a look. So we have names of the months here and we have products on the other side. It's a cross tabulated matrix and you know what maybe I'd like to take a sum of all these products and place them right here at the bottom and I want that sum range to expand automatically if I add more products between the total and the number of months here so that should expand automatically now to do that I'm going to create a dynamic range but in a different way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cell name but not with an absolute reference but with a relative reference why don't you take a look if you're familiar with cell naming it's very easy so what you do is you maybe select a cell then you go click on the name box which appears right here on the top you just write the name and the naming is done it's pretty straightforward but this time we're going to do the naming in a slightly different convention take a look so first of all I come to the last cell right here then I open up my name manager the shortcut to open up the name manager if you don't know is control f3 I open up a name manager and I start to create a new name and in the new name I'm just gonna say that I'd like to name the cell above right so I'm just gonna maybe name it as cell above right and the scope is this workbook that means I want this to be working in the entire workbook well I don't want the cell above to be restricted to the current worksheet which is sheet one so I'm just gonna get rid of the sheet name first of all so I'll just get rid of that and of course I'll get rid of any dollars there are so that takes care of the absolute referencing and now I'm no more referencing the cell in an absolute way and of course since this is the cell above so I'm just gonna use the previous cell address which is C9 that's what I end up writing with an exclamation mark and then C9, right and I'm just gonna say okay and now I have successfully named the above cell as cell above so if I just maybe come here and write cell above and I press enter this is gonna give me a zero because in the previous cell there is nothing but if I end up writing a 10 there or if I writing an ABC there this actually gets me the value all right now here is the magic so once we have done the cell naming but in a relative way this is what we do so I'm just gonna maybe write the sum function and I start my range from here then I put in colon and after the colon I'm gonna say that the range should end at cell above right so that's what I'm gonna say close the bracket press enter and this is actually going to give you the correct total as 46 now you can certainly drag that to the right hand side and since our cell above was a relative reference it was not an absolute reference it's going to come here and do a cell above it's going to come here and do a cell above now this is just one part of the trick actually if you just cut this from here and just paste that at the bottom and if you just add some random values here maybe I just add one all across and press enter you can see that the total has revised it has taken care of all the cells that were added and you have the revised total now now similarly you could actually do that maybe here and you can just say cell to the left and you can just maybe create a relative cell naming and just grab all these bunch of cells and attach them to the cell to the left and then that's your dynamic range created all right that's about it let me know in the comments as to how did you find this trick if you already know about it that's great but if you didn't let me know in the comments as to how did you find this one all right, one last thing before I leave, I have some awesome courses on Excel, Power Query, DAX, and Power BI. If you're planning to learn these tools in a very, very structured way, I mean, learn it right from scratch and then go up to a level where you start solving sophisticated problems using Excel, Power BI, DAX, or Power Query, I suggest you that you please check out these courses. You are going to find a lot of value in them. All right, thanks so much. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be glad to help. Cheers, bye.